This is Twit. Uh, we're going to build a relay. That's the whole deal. And, and before I do that, I uh, got a Christmas card, both Gordo and I, from the Deer School. Remember, we had all the Deer's kids on, and they signed the card, which I thought was really cool. And then they sent us a picture, look at this, of all these wonderful guys and gals. Is that cool? That's the Deer's Bunch, and uh, we appreciate that very, very much. Well, let's get on to it here. We made a, a major change to get this relay happening. Uh, there, there's one thing we could have done, and I do it quite often. I got about six of them in here, is you go do it with a Dow Key Relay, which is one of these guys. But they're hard to find, made back in the 50s. And 60s, they still make them, but they're horribly expensive. And you can find them at Hamfest, though. You look around. But I figured, no, we're going to do it differently. We're going to do it on pine board. And we'll get get into it here in a minute. But uh, this is pretty cool, and I'll uh, I'll get to it in a second. But here's the major trick: we had to make a little adapter, not even an adapter. We had to change. Uh, some things on the pine board and this is very important we uh, we had to add this isn't plugged in of course we had to add this little guy and bring 110 volts from the regular 110 volt lead and the power supply brought it up through the cable and that's 110 volts right there thank goodness it isn't uh, plugged in <laughs> the these two go up to a switch. Now, you remember we had uh, originally uh, just a single pole, single throw switch to uh, turn the transmitter on and off. Well, that has been changed now to a double pole. And why we did that is one pole of it, the single pole, uh, th th this is a, it's a double pole, single throw, one of the poles turns the B plus on as normal. The other pole now turns on the 110 volts that goes to the relay. So now let me um, let me get this backed up here, and uh, we'll get this little guy up to you. Let me lay this over here. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. And um, I got to thank Gene. Uh, the wonderful artist that does all the uh, the great drawings. He came up with a, a, a pretty clever idea. Uh, there's so many ways we can hook this up. But he had a really cool way. I'll show you in a minute. But what I did here is I have an SO239 for the antenna. This is an SO239 going back to the transmitter, to the pine board. This is the receiver. That's an RCA. A lot of receivers use, uh, if they don't use RCA, they're going to use what, just regular uh, terminal two, uh, two wires. And then the relay. Now, the relay, I got my relay from Gateway Electronics in St. Louis. There's a number of places you can find them. And uh, uh, if you haven't, uh, haven't ever checked with Gateway, you might want to do it. They have a lot of parts. And uh, I just call them. Forget the internet. Come on, guys and gals. Pick up the telephone <laughs> and tell Lisa that you want a double pole, single throw, but we could maybe need a, need a three pole. And here's why. Let me get into the drawing and uh, show you what we've done. This uh, this is uh, outlines the whole deal. Here's Here's the deal as we started out. When we had the transmitter going, we only used that switch to control the B+. Plus. Remember, that turns the transmitter on. But we now change that switch to a double pole, two pole. So one side of it turns the 110 I just showed you on the uh, terminal strip. It turns 110 volts on to the 110 volt coil in the relay. And so you flip the switch, 
It keys the B plus, turns on the relay. And what happens with the relay? We're taking the antenna and we're moving it up, of course, to the uh, transmitter and uh, here and then the uh, receiver up here. You also could put, an, you could have another pole. There's four poles in this relay that I'm, I'm using. And so uh, Gene said, why not put a, a pilot light on it if you wanted to do that? And uh, here's here's how it lays out. This really shows you that some uh, great uh, artistry of, of Gene. This will give you the whole detail right here. And it it works really well. We're coming in here. The uh, the two leads to the coil on the relay. That's a 110 volt coil. Comes down to the strip. This is the key to the this particular uh, side of the relay is a key to the pilot light if you want it. But then what happens here? You're going to follow along the antenna. We come out of there and we go up to that. Uh, that's the common and that will either switch to the transmitter when we energize it or when it goes back up, up, it takes the antenna signal and puts it here, which comes over here and feeds the receiver. When you transmit and you turn the power onto this, it grounds the receiver. That's a very cool thing. That's a thing that, that uh, uh, Gene thought of, and I, I think that's really a good idea. Yeah. So when that relay in J engages in the transmit side, you're grounding the input to the receiver so you won't cause any damage to that receiver. We'll go back to that schematic and follow that again. It really is a neat idea. And you'll want to do those kind of things to protect everything. But right here is what happens. In the receiver side, when the transmitter is on, this would go down and bingo, it grounds the receiver. That's really cool. So that's a nice circuit. It works really well. We'll look at that again. And here you go with the the antenna, the transmitter, and the receiver. And I used a uh, mounting. Remember we did that? Uh, Gene has some really good drawings of how I did that. How are you going to mount them on a piece of pine board? And you do it with number 14 solid wire. And that works great. The relay is to cement it to the board. And uh, that's that's the relay. And uh, this will work for a lot of things. Uh, a lot of QRP guys are wondering, how are we going to make this thing work? Well, uh, they build all these uh, nice QRP transmitters, and they don't have a way to key it. There it is. And that works really well. We'll have all these drawings up on the schematic uh, part of the uh, website, hilesound.com, and go down to the pine board portion. And you'll be able to see all of these nice pictures and things like that. But uh, that answers a lot of questions for you. And uh, anything else I can do, as you know, all you got to do is email me. And I'm get, getting a bunch of emails. And what's really cool, I got one yesterday. This is Virginia. There's all her parts laid out for the transmitter. There's what you got to do. Lay them all out. Compare them to the uh uh, to the parts list that we have on the site. And she's ready to go. I think she needs her coil from MFJ. I talked to them today. There's been a lot of back and forth about that. They do have the coil. Call, please, call. <laughs> call MFJ and order the coil from the 811. And um, you got it. They'll know what you're talking about. They do, they're not going to cut it for you. You'll have to do that. That's no big deal. But we tell you how to do all that. You should have had that. If not, it's on the website. Uh, you need 41 turns of that coil. So MFJ does have the coil, and they're ready to take your, uh, and take your order, and uh, away you go. There's uh, many other ways to hook that up, and we'll talk about it in other shows. But 
wanted to start on it and let you see what we're going to do for the relay. And everything should be up and running uh, soon. I, I'm on the air with mine uh, uh, quite a bit, and it, it works really good. I got a note also from Bill in 4DH, and he made his first contact. And, of course, that, it's like the first contact you made when you're a novice. <laughs> Trust me, you got to build this. I heard a, uh, some guys the other day on that there's a whole club down, I think it's South Carolina, the whole club's building them. So uh, we've caused the sensation, right, right here on Ham Nation.